This is AEW Dark, and we're coming to you from Miami. At the U. Yeah, Tony Schiavone <laughs> and Dasha Gonzalez, you are looking beautiful today. Thank it's you. I'm digging this floral print Thank on you. Thank you very much. I mean, it's very slimming, and you look tan. I think the Florida weather is doing that for Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel very slimming and I feel very <laughs> tan and uh, it's great to be working with you again. We are here, of course, as you know, Bash of the Beach Part 1 was this past week here in Miami. And then coming up this week, we're going to continue Bash of the Beach at Dynamite during Chris Jericho's Rock and Rager at Sea Part 2. Did. Thank you for saying that for me. <laughs> but we do have some great matches this week for you here on Dark, including our first match. Our first match is a women's match. We've got the Amante versus Big Swole. Big Swole's been red be, hot. I want to be her when I grow up. She's <laughs> jacked. She is jacked. And then we have a big tag team match, Jurassic Express against Strong Hearts. That'll be coming up a little bit later in our program. But let's take it to the ring for our first match on Dark. As we have action here in the AEW women's division. Diamante making her singles debut here in All Elite Wrestling to take on Big Swole. This yeah. contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Currently in the ring, Diamante. Yeah, that's a, a tough young lady right there. A tough young athlete. Really looking forward to see her in this contest, which, it's help, I gotta tell you, I think it's gonna be a pretty, pretty good battle. Yeah, Big Swole, one of the hottest young prospects here in AEW. A big signee at the end of 2019, expecting big things from her in the new year. I gotta say, big swole type of athlete. She's a type of woman that, even if there's big hype around her, I don't know, just a little bit I know of this young lady, I could see her taking that hype, but no problemo. And her opponent from Clearwater, Florida, Big Swole! You're exactly right, Taz. Big Swole is the type of competitor, the type of person that can uh, endure, that can, that can persevere. When the times get tough, she thought that uh, she was never going to be a professional wrestler. That she, right. she was never going to, to have a family. She was able to overcome these obstacles, and now she has her sights set on the top of the AEW Women's Division, and namely, Riho, the AEW Women's World Champion. Well, with the work ethic of someone like a Big Swole, being a veteran of the Air Force, uh, being a, a silver medalist in the Goodwill Games as a track and field athlete, Big Swole and Diamante, two women that know each other very well. They have met numerous times outside of AEW, but this is the first time in an AEW ring. And it'll be interesting to see if Diamante is able to put her mark here in the women's division. Yeah, you can see the focus just in the eyes of Diamante. I mean, just total focus and a whole lot of bad attitude in the ring by both these athletes. So really, like I said, looking forward to seeing this as we see this lockup here and some you know, an arm ringer right there controlled by Big Swole. Yeah, Diamante, you could see just by her demeanor when she was walking to the ring, she's got a chip on her shoulder. Yeah. And uh, she believes that uh, that the spot that Swole has in the AEW women's division oh, could have been hers. Oh, look at this roll up one. Only a one count from referee Aubrey Edwards. Yeah, some envy for sure. I mean, she, you know, Diamante, she wants to be, I mean, she wants to make her name right here, get a victory on, so, uh, on somebody like a Big Swole right now. Well, we talked about some of the hype around Big Swole and how legit she is. Oh, look at oh, that. That's nice. Swole gets rolled up, one. Able to kick out those powerful legs of Swole, able to break free. Crucifix here, one. Only a one count once again. Swole charges in, takes Diamante. Yeah, nice front headlock, maybe a small package here. One. Got it cradled up, a nice kick out. Very nice kick out, and these two women just goes to show you how well they know one another. Similar facial expressions, Excalibur, by both these ladies. Again, the intensity just reeks off their face. Nice go behind by Swollen for a side headlock. 
Yeah, laser-like focus by both competitors. We are here at the Bash at the Beach. They are not letting the bright lights of oh. Miami, of Magic City, get to them. Look at this, Swole with the side headlock. Or excuse me, Diamante with the side headlock on Swole. Swole transitioned into a pinning predicament, but didn't even get a one count there. You see your hips, how big Swole's chucking the hips off to get out of that very unique way to escape that headlock. Good job by Big Swole. And Diamante, had she had it cinched in a little tighter. Well, putting a body weight on it would have helped a yeah. bit too, I think. Playing some games here with nine games, head games right here. Yeah, she gets, she gets the uh, big Swole gets Diamante to charge in and then takes her down with that shoulder tackle. Swole using her size advantage. Diamante goes for the trip. Swole comes with the ropes, ducks the back elbow attempt, goes for the pump kick. Diamante goes in deep for that arm drag. Blocked it, tried another arm drag, but blocked. Goes around the corner. Oh, There's wow. the pump kick. Takes Diamante off her feet. Oh, man. Whole bunch of impact right there in the draw of Diamante by Big Swole. Powerful pump kick by Big Swole. Now Diamante looking to escape out to the ring apron, but Swole has other designs. Oh, guillotine there on the top rope. Oh, smart right there by Diamante, able to stop the offensive attempt by, oof, by Swole. And eats a knee to Swole in the face by Diamante. Yes, Swole went, to, went for that sh shoulder to the midsection, Diamante was a step ahead, and oh, now just choking her over the middle rope. Aubrey Edwards demanding a break. Diamante, though, taking as much time as she was legally allowed. Yeah, just to wear down her opponent, wear down Big Swole. Like it or not, a smart strategy by Diamante, and now what she have in mind, maybe a vertical suplex possibly here, or a snap suplex. Swole has the, uh, the lower vertical base, or excuse me, Diamante oh, does. Oh, yeah. Snap suplex, nice. Swivels her hips, try to get her and her opponent back to a vertical base into another snap throw. Looks for the snap, looking for the trace. Swole blocks, breaks free, goes for the boot again. Diamante avoids, toe kick to the midsection. And now Diamante taking a moment to soak it in here in Miami. That should change the mind. What is this? Oh, oh nice. I love this girl's attitude. This nasty, nasty attitude. I dig it. Doesn't want to give the crowd what they want. She is more concerned with making an example of Swole. Well, you better get on it, though. Don't let give Big Swole too much opportunity to recoup and recover. Yes, You'll Swole, pay, you know? Swole has proven herself to be a very resilient, a very tough competitor here, and she can endure a lot of punishment and still come away with a victory. Diamante has to know that just as well as anybody. You got to see Big Swole keeping her eye on her opponent, even though she's eating back elbows here while she's trapped in that corner, Big Swole. But she still has her eye on her opponent, if, if she can see the C straight right now. Yeah, Diamante did a good job there. She hit the first one on the left side, but then followed up with a right back elbow. Big Swole, though, fighting her way out of the corner. Palm strikes. Yeah, those palm strikes are hitting, too. To the chest, Diamante grabs a nice oh. lock and German suplex dumping Swole on the back of her neck. Stay on her now. Don't, don't wait, Diamante. Stay on her. Diamante sizing Swole go. up in the oh. corner and the drop kick. Oh. Oh. Diamante pulling her out to center. Cover one. Leo, one count. If we can get a, if you can see, I mean, even though we see Big Swole in a lot of trouble right now, she does have an LL written on her wrist. It's it's for her friend who recently passed, Lauren Lee. She's dedicating this match to her friend, Lauren Lee, who's no longer with us. And our hearts go out to the family and friends of Lauren Lee. Big Swole included, but right now, Diamante. What is this? She's got flip-flops. She's got it. What's going on? And chocolates. Wow. <laughs> she. <laughs> Sandals. <laughs> she is bringing a foreign object into the ring. Referee Aubrey Edwards spots it. I don't think Aubrey Edwards, our referee, understands that in the trunks. Well, there's another one. Oh, oh look at this. Oh. Diamante being Swole. <laughs> oh, no. Swole counters it. Swole's got it now. Aubrey spots it, though. Swole oh. doesn't want to get disqualified here. Good job, Big Swole. Oh, oh, all right. And Taz, I was a, about to compliment the intensity of Diamante, but Swole has really changed the tone of this match. That was intense. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> sure, there's many people here in the Miami area that have uh, gotten a, a, 
a sandal or two across the, the head, the body, the face, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Again, palm strikes by Swole. Look at this, Diamante just swinging wildly, that right jab across the jaw. Watch out, watch out. Diamante put on the brakes, Swole Whoa. carries it oh. through. Oh! Plants are down. Oh, the knee wow. strike on the jaw! Big Swole sending Diamante into the oh. ropes, comes across with a right-handed lariat test. Big Swole in the driver's seat. Yeah, and Big Swole, you see that intensity in her eyes. She don't waste no motion going right back on Diamante. Look at this, Diamante, those, those right hands to the midsection, rights and lefts, the unprotection midsection. Oh, look at that, Swole blocked. Quickness right there by Swole. Quick feet. A roundhouse is exchanged. Oh, and the headbutt was sweet. Diamante, very unsteady on her feet, throws a wild lariat, swing. Oh, watch out, here Rip we go. go. Oh, oh, the dirty dancing. Goodbye. One, Goodbye. two, three, big Swole. Huge victory here. No winner of this match. Big Swole. Yeah, that dirty dance at uh, Excalibur, that, you know, that, that, that basically, you know, forearm shiver brought with intention to drop your opponent. That's what happened. Great job by Big Swole. And Taz, that's what makes Swole so dangerous. All it took here it was comes. one shot. Oh, man. One shot, and that ended the night for Diamante. But Excalibur, you see the follow through, too. That's what makes it. You know, the follow through of the blow is what really made it. An impressive victory here for Big Swole. We expect big things for her in the women's division in 2020. All right, a big win for Big Swole as anticipated because, as you said, she is red hot here in AEW. And still to come, our big tag team main event. We've had such a great time here in Miami at the Watsco Center in Florida, sunny Florida. I know you live in Florida, and you and I were talking about this. It may be a good place for me to move one day. You could, when you finally retire. I don't I'll, know if I'll you'll ever, gonna you're never going to retire. Yeah. But guess what? It feels great on the joints here in Florida because it's nice and warm yes, all it. the time. Okay, here's a look at where AEW is coming near you. AEW Dynamite is coming to Cleveland at the Wolstein Center at Cleveland State on Wednesday, January 29th. And then Wednesday, February 5th, AEW Dynamite originates live from the Vaughn Braun Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Then Wednesday, February 12th, Dynamite is coming to the greater Austin, Texas area at the HEB Center in Cedar Park. Yes, AEW Dynamite makes its debut in Atlanta, Wednesday, February 19th at the State Farm Arena. Catch AEW Dynamite live in the Kansas City area at Independence, Missouri on Wednesday, February 26th. The event takes place at the Silverstein Eye Center's Arena. Tickets are now on sale for AEW Dynamite in Denver. We'll be at the First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado, Wednesday, March 4th. The following week, Dynamite debuts in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Maverick Center on Wednesday, March 11th. AEW makes its debut at the Empire State of New York at the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester, Wednesday, March 18th. Tickets for Rochester go on sale this Friday. That's this Friday at noon Eastern. The New York Metropolitan Tri-State Area debut of AEW Dynamite happens in Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center. Tickets for Newark, New Jersey go on sale this Friday at noon as well. And our next AEW pay-per-view event, we've been talking about it for quite a while, AEW Revolution, Saturday, February 29th at the Wintrust Arena, downtown Chicago, the first visit inside Chicago city limits. All right, guys, so it's now time for your main event here on Dark. Let's take it back to the ring as we see the strong hearts face Jurassic Express. This is a six-man tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring first at a total combined weight of 547 pounds, and Lindemann, T-Hawk, and Shima Strong Hearts. Strong Hearts, a formidable six-man, or I guess three-man unit. Shima there, T-Hawk following, and Lindemann bringing up the, the rear and Lindemann test. Yeah. Man after your own heart. Uh, Season Judoka. Yep. yep. And somebody able to use his size and strength to a distinct advantage. 
Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lindemann's work. I mean, I, you just look at the guy's ears, Excalibur, yeah. and it tells the stories. homie has got some cauliflowers for sure, and he spent some time on a mat in a dojo, you can tell. And their opponents, at a total combined weight of 552 pounds, <laughs> Marco Stock, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus, Jurassic Express. While it took a little while for Jurassic Express to find their in-ring footing, they have not had to waste any time connecting with the AEW fans. And you see right there in that graphic, uh, in the beginning of this year right here in 2020, they're one, one and oh right now in tag team uh, division. And I'll tell you what, they are so Excalibur. Just hearing that ovation for these three men uh, was, was awe-inspiring. Just a great pop, as we call it, reaction for the Jurassic experience. Or Express, I should say. And Jungle Boy, a great experience. On AEW Dynamite, picking up his oh. first in-ring victory for inside all elite wrestling. And as a trio, Jurassic Express want to turn one into two, two into four, four into eight. Mm. And they want to run roughshod over the tag teams here in AEW. But they have a strong, pun very much intended, right. test ahead of them. Well, you see T-Hawk here getting ready to tangle it up with Jungle Boy. And this T-Hawk is the real deal. I mean, we've seen here in AEW uh, uh, strong hearts compete, and they are legit as legit can get. They're very exciting. I expect this match, as I'm sure I can speak for you on this, uh, Excalibur, this is going to be uh, high-octane stuff. Yeah, the, the speed and the intensity of this matchup. We see Jungle Boy with a shoulder tackle, but T-Hawk! Wow. That is the strength, the power of T-Hawk, a man with perhaps the most vicious chops in all of professional wrestling. You saw how he... There it is. Oh, uh, on cue, buddy. Yeah, the <laughs> chop just ripping into the chest of Jungle Boy. Charging in, Jungle Boy gets the boot up. T-Hawk catches. Oh, good gosh. Man, just ripping throughout the Watsko Center here on the campus of the University of Miami. Jungle Boy goes up and over the top. Hits the ropes. T-Hawk throws the clothesline attempt. Jungle Boy able to come behind. Hip toss. Jungle Boy rolls through. Kick to the face. Now Jungle Boy cartwheels up and over the top. Brings T-Hawk over onto his knees. Jungle Boy single leg drop kick. You see the athleticism in this young man right there, Jungle Boy, who is just tremendous. His upside, his future is ultra, ultra bright. And, and you're seeing it uh, unfold here week in and week out on AEW programming. A tremendously high ceiling for the 22-year-old Jungle Boy as he's throwing a little bit of heavy leather there. I don't know if you want to do this with T-Hawk. Yeah, man, you don't want to. Look at the chest of look Jungle Boy. Already bright, like fire engine red. <laughs> How about the reaction for Marco Stunt? No, no, don't do that, Marco. Don't oh. challenge him to <laughs> chop you. And T-Hawk, whoa! He walked down Marco and now tags in Lindemann. Yeah, you got to be careful here with, with, with an athlete like Lindemann, as you mentioned, a, 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 you know, an established judoka, a judo player. Uh, and you got to be careful if you Marco stunt. You don't want to tangle up with this cat here. Yeah, Lindemann with only five years of, of professional wrestling experience, but started judo as a very young age in uh, in primary school, actually. And so he has been, oh, look at this, Marco pumping himself up. Well, he's thickly built, is, is Lindemann. You know, Marco Stunt's not going to be able to drop him with a shoulder tackle. And there's not a gigantic height difference, to be honest with you, between these two guys. No, and that's actually what allows Lindemann to be so dangerous as a judo player, he's got that low fulcrum, that low center of gravity. Well, that's the key. If your hips are below your opponent's hips, that's a big part of being a successful judoka. And now Marco Stunt, leapfrog. Lindemann goes up and over the top. Vipasso there by Lindemann. Marco goes over Lindemann's sh shoulder. Oof. Lindemann with the leapfrog. Rolls through Marco. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Just stepped right into the pin. I'm not sure Lindemann even knew what was happening. Marco with the Tierras. Takes Lindemann over to the corner. Marco Stunt charging in, escapes between the top and second rope. Quickness of Marco Stunt. Tough two, this Marco Stunt. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Roll through, one, two. Only a two count, says referee Mike Posey. Marco goes for the low leg lariat, but springs up to his feet. Great stuff by both athletes here. 
Marco Stunt's no joke. I understand he's not as big as most athletes you're going to see, you know, here in AEW. But I'll tell you what, he's, he could be pound for pound one of the tougher guys on the roster. The punishment this guy takes, he's fearless also. Marco Stunt is uh -oh. Been, oh, look at this. Shima knew that he immediately had to bring the fight to Luchasaurus. But oh. oh, the high kick and a second high kick. Shima. Dodging Luchasaurus now with the waist lock. Oh, big back elbow. And the size, the thickness, and Luchasaurus upper body. Oh, but Shima, that basement drop kick. And then the NZ carry has Luchasaurus reeling. Oh, as soon Ooh. as I said that, he fires back with that pump kick. That rolling chop, the overhand oh, chop man. from Lindemann. And Luchasaurus single-handedly taking out all three members of Strong Hearts. Impressive athlete for sure, Luchasaurus. Talk about impressive. Here comes Jungle Boy. Now what? Cazadora into oh. the flatliner. Might Combination one, two. Nope, T-Hawk there to break things up. Well, smart job by T-Hawk. He understood that she was in a lot of trouble by Jungle Boy. So you got to do that sometimes, as you know, Excalibur. You have to break it up. And what Strong Hearts, the advantage that they have over the Jurassic Express is that they are constantly, oh, look at this, beautiful arm drag. Jungle Boy rolls through into another arm drag, takes Shima to the outside. Watch Jungle Boy here. This kid can soar. And, oh, Chope Suicida through the second and third rope, takes out T-Hawk. He's not done, my man. And now, oh, through the first and second rope flies Jungle Boy. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, the gorilla press, that was awesome. That was also by Luchasaurus and Marco Stunt. Missile. Wow. Well, what I was going to say is that Stronghearts, they live together in the dojo. They're constantly training together sure. day yeah. in and day out. Jurassic Express don't have that same advantage, but right now, it doesn't seem to matter. Imagine Jurassic Express One, living together. Oh, that'd be something, huh? Those three guys living together. <laughs> Three's company. Yeah. Marco Stunt now just... Marcus yeah, he's, he's, obviously the Chrissy of the group. Yeah, he's, he's unpredictable in his style, but like I was talking about, man, oh, about his toughness. You know, he gives up a lot of size, obviously, but he's got a, a plethora of heart in that 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 body of his. Does Marco stunt? And Shima, by far the most experienced competitor inside this matchup. Look at this. They oh no, oh pancake. Marco stunt triple drop oh, kick. God, Stronghouse just basically almost knocking the hair off the head of Marco stunt. But that experience advantage, Taz, that Shima brings, oh, that is such, it's such every, an X factor. As you know, Excalibur, it's huge. I mean, it's huge because he'll keep the timing right of his two partners, of the other members of Strong Hearts, and he, you know, because he's been to the dance many oh, times. Oh, oh my man. God! Good. God! Did you see that? T Hawk smiled. <laughs> wow. Rolls Marco through, has the leg isolated, wraps him up. Ooh! Frog splash across the back. And now Lindemann, I think, oh, I think Lindemann realized away, he made yeah. a mistake. Get away from Luchasaurus. They have singled out, obviously, Strong Hearts, as we're witnessing here at Excal. They've singled out the, 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 you know, the smaller man here of Jurassic Express in Marco Stunt. And it's just a great, sound, smart strategy. The point you made about Shima being a veteran of this team and, and, and steering that, that ship known as Strong Hearts. That's right. For, you know, Shima is such a calming presence for Strong Hearts. You know, if they if if the if the two younger members of the team start to get flustered, right. Shima's been there. He's done that. Sure. He can he can bring them back down to a neutral place. Well, to the point you made earlier about the, these three men of Strong Hearts living together in the dojo, and, and also we got to bring up their international experience worldwide, right? That's just going to bring so much more of a chemistry for that unit. And look at Stunt here bringing the fight with those forearms. Marco Stunt laying in some shots, but look at that T. Oh, oh T. Hawk just lit him up with that rising knee strike. Marco, though, reversing. T-Hawk, Marco, oh, just gets oh, he's planted. Done. He's One, knocked out. Two. He's done. Well, no. T-Hawk brought him up, and Shima with a running bulldog. They are just beating the living dog. You know what, out of Marco stunt right now. Dog daylights? Close, uh, close. And of. now, oh, no. They've oh got Marco God. up, and Linda. Oh, no. oh, the pendulum powerbomb combination. One, two. Jungle Boy makes it past T-Hawk to break it up. I'm not sure Marco would have been able to kick out. Uh, I don't think so, my man. I mean, geez. I'll tell you what, I, I talked about earlier how tough Marco's stunt is. To t that's what toughness is taking, that kind of, kind of pounding, and still being able to stand up, but he's not standing up. That's the issue for stunt. And look at this, Marco with those up kicks trying to fight. 
Yeah, fight off the canvas. Marco never out of a fight, never count him uh -oh. out. That uh -oh. wheelbarrow, no, Marco rolls up, Linda Men and now makes go. the tag. Big man's in. Oh, the headbutt. Takes oh. down Lindemann, the overhand shot to T-Hawk oh. and the pump kick takes Shima off the apron and now Lindemann needs a middle kick. Watch out, T-Hawk. Just ate a big boot and a mush. Just got planted. Shot to the midsection there by Luchasaurus on Shima. Shima up on the shoulders. And now Oof. a strong heart sandwich. <laughs> but Lindemann. Those double sledges to the back. That's not going to do it. That's definitely, no! Oh, oh, oh. Man, about to kick that cauliflower ear off his head. It brings him up high and drops him down low. The standing moonsault the press. Dash. One, okay. dash. two. Oh, Lindemann wow. able to kick out. What type of just the explosiveness and the athleticism of Luchasaurus able to do that standing moonsault like that? Unbelievable, tremendous, tremendous stuff by Luchasaurus. Here comes Jungle Boy. Just like the, the experience of Shima as the X Factor for Strongheart's, uh -oh. the size. Ooh. The, oh. oh, look at that. Planted him. Hook at the far leg. One, two, no. T Hawk there in time to break it up. Great job by T Hawk. Again, second time in a smash. Oh, Marco off the this. back. Takes T Hawk to the outside. Watch Shima. Watch Shima. Got rid of Stunt. Oh, and he gets rid of Luchasaurus, too, with the low bridge. Jungle Boy's got to be careful here. Drop toe hold. Watch out! And Shima with the knees across the back of the head. Now Shima, toe base, suicide on Marco Stunt and Luchasaurus. Oh, he's done. He's going to get chucked on this German. One, two, no! Jungle Boy at the last possible moment able to kick out. Outstanding bridge in that German suplex, holding that bridge by Lindemann. Great hip strength, quad strength, hamstring strength, and now he's not done with Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy, though, escapes. Up, look at this, work on Rana. One, two, no. Oh, oh. Shima and t hawk there. both. Oh. oh, that tail whip caught Shima in the roundhouse. Oh, oh wow, like Lindemann might be he, he's on his feet, dude. That thrust kick has got Lindemann staggered. Oh, and just planted wow. one, two, wow. three. Oh, uh, winners of this match, Jurassic. It's Press. Tremendous matchup, Excalibur. Good gosh, that was awesome. Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, and Marco Stunt, a force to be reckoned with here. I mean, just tremendous stuff. Great victory for the team by Jungle Boy. For the other two, th by the way, this is just phenomenal by Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Tops it off on Lindemann and gets the victory. Jungle Boy, tremendous job. Jurassic Express now 2-0 as a trio in the year 2020. Great tag team main event this week here on AEW Dark. We have had a great time here in Miami at the U. Yes, we have. Don't forget that coming up tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite's Bash of the Beach will continue because we will be on Chris Jericho's Rockin' Rager at Sea. Part yeah, that's exactly right. We've had a, you know, I love South Florida, don't you? I do. The sun's always out. The yeah. weather's great. We got a good tan. We're ready for next week. I'm not so sure I have a good tan. You got a great base, Tony. Okay. Don't worry. You got a great base. I got a great base. That's what I had to know. And fans, don't forget, we will see you next week on Dark. But we'll see you tomorrow night on Dynamite.